Good morning, all. Um, oh my God, what an unbelievable weekend of fights. Um, I kind of feel like the Grinch stole Christmas having uh, Deontay Wilder lose his fight to uh, Tony Parker. And then, of course, Anthony Joshua won his fight versus Wallen, but both men had to come out on top. So a lot to get into, but I am starting with a heavy heart, I must confess. There's a lot of questions about Deontay Wilder, and I I thought that those questions had been answered with his fights with Fury, and Fury being such an exceptional boxer, I just wasn't I wasn't expecting to see it. And um, man, a, a huge disappointment. I think all the fight fans for a number of years have been clamoring for some Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua action, but. Um, unfortunately, even the move to Saudi, it seems like they had a two-fight deal in place, but given uh, Wilder just lost, that is all out the window now. And it just, I feel everything is needs to be rethunk at this point, if that's even a word. We have to rethink everything, perhaps, is, is a better way to say it. Hats off to Tony Parker. His, um, he, he, did, he was incredible. He had an amazing display all 12 rounds, he was, um, you know, Deontay has this aura, this sh he's this shadowy, grim reaper type figure, and um, I, I said it in a previous video, he has the great eraser, and he can make a lot of mistakes, is often outboxed, but he just hits people so hard when he can line up that perfect punch. Um, I think, unfortunately, this time, he didn't let the hands go, other, uh, I heard other boxing coaches and um, stuff from the, from the, um, what do they call that? From the arena yelling, let the hands go, Deontay, let the hands go. Great advice. Um, I, I know a lot of fighters can get trigger shy if they're just exclusively looking for the knockouts. And I've, I've heard it many times said that you should just continue to put on good performances, the knockouts will happen, don't search for it, but Deontay's had such great success, obviously, doing this over 40 times. Um, but yeah, he got out boxed. All the hats off to Tony Parker. I think this probably doesn't bring stability to the division, unfortunately, or any of the divisions and belts, uh, but man, unbelievable. Yeah, like I said, I, I kind of feel like the Grinch stole Christmas. I'm a little bit sad. Uh, what do you, let me know what you guys think. Uh, was this to be expected? I know Deontay wo uh, weighed in at about 212 pounds, which is, for most of his career, that's about right on weight. He's always come in very light for the heavyweight division, um, often weighs less than whoever he's fighting, regardless of if they're taller or shorter. You know, not too many people are taller than him, but um, 212 on a 6'7 frame is is not a lot of body weight and you could see when the guys were in there and they're mixing it up um the disparity i had i, I like i said i must have just been viewing things through rosy co colored glasses when i looked at deontay and likened him to thanos um but i don't even want to say exposed i think he might just be at the end of his career he came off two fights with tyson fury uh, got outboxed by a bigger man. Um, I think, you know, when fighters get a loss on their record, it really challenges their mentality. But I'm um, still hopeful for a lot of exciting fights coming up in this in this coming year. Um, I'd be interested to hear your guys' thought. How does this change things? Are we more excited about what comes next for Anthony Joshua? Um, I personally am not. But this was just such an upset. I had to bring this to you guys first thing. So uh, thanks so much for hanging in. Like and subscribe.